warm welcome to Podcast for Business with me, Steve Twiner. Uh, Podcast for Business is all about helping businesses to share knowledge, expertise, uh, details of uh, workshops, events and seminars with the wider business community. Today's podcast is brought to you in partnership with Network B2B. If you'd like to business network in a structured and relaxed environment with groups across the UK, Network B2B is well worth a visit. If you'd like more information, check out networkb2b.co.uk. In today's podcast, I explore the world of companies collaborating and working together, in fact, becoming a collective. You know, if you're looking for an overall marketing solution, it's always good to work with the experts. Find out more as I talk with Rudy, Ellie and Lee. I talk with them next in this podcast for business. I'd like to share news about your business, event seminar or workshop. Simply email steve at stevetwinem.com. Well, do you know what? There's a lot of talk about collaboration, people working together, and I've got a great word that I've just had shared with me, collective. Uh, and I'm joined on the line now by, uh, by Rudy, Elliot, and Lee, who are a collective. How are you all? Hello. Hi. Good, Steve. thank you. Good, good. Hey, tell me more about this collective then. What, what it's all about and how do you come together? The collective has started basically uh, from my business, Famous Wolf. I wanted to build a collective of specialists that are alphas in their own right. And so I've teamed with two uh, businesses that are extremely highly skilled professionals within their industry, one of which is Lee from L33, that uh, specializes in web design and web development, and also Ellie from Giant Leap Productions that specialize in video production. And together, we provide an overall marketing solution. And obviously, Famous Wolf specializes in digital marketing, which is all about driving leads to businesses that convert to sales uh, effectively. And to do that effectively, you need to make sure that you have a great website and also that you have fantastic video content, which we call rich content in the marketing world, to do that, as well as know how to get that, that message then out there using the likes of social media and other forms of digital marketing, which is where the famous wolf comes So you bring, all these, you bring all these strengths together. So, so Ellie, how did you get involved then? How did you meet Rudy? Let's, let's share some of that to, for the listener. Oh, actually, well, Rudy and I have actually met networking. So we've, we've both been networking uh, separately for our own businesses. And then we, saw, we sort of came together and realized the power that it would have um, if we sort of joined forces. So we know from a video background that we can produce fantastic content. Um, and that's what we've been doing for our clients for 10 years now. And they've got some great content. But we found over the years that what happens is they have brilliant content and it might sit on a website somewhere. Um, but actually nobody really gets to see it. So what we, we really want to do is for our clients to get the full benefit of having a brilliant video and people are actually seeing it. And that's where Rudy comes into play because he's an expert in what he does. So we know that uh, for our existing clients already, um, all of the content that they've already get ready, ready got, we can send them in Rudy's direction and say, you need this service to get all of your fantastic content out there. This is going to win you more sales. You know, you don't want to get left behind. This is, you know, a digital world. Everything's on social media. So go with the experts and get all of that great footage out there. The power of networking, eh? Lee, was that the same for you then? Uh, no, it's actually introductory introduction from a mutual friend. Um, she was a content writer who said, we've got this guy, Rudy, who's working on social uh, media marketing. And at that time, we had a need for somebody with those skills. So we arranged a meeting and we had a really great fit. The thing about building websites is you build a website and it can sit there and nobody sees it. But how beautiful the website is, how good the content is. If you're not driving traffic to that website, you've almost got like a white elephant there. So what we were looking for is a partner who could help our clients drive extra traffic, potential customers and new clients to those websites. And the way it's done these days is by the social media channels. 
So, so we met Rudy, he had some great ideas, loved the ethos, the way he worked. And so it was a really good fit for us. And also with the reverse of that, with Rudy's social media marketing, if you're directing people at a poor website, or if it doesn't work on mobile, if it's not accessible for people with I know, visibility issues, or you know, even things like color blindness, it's not working for your entire market. You're directing somebody at a brick wall, and that's not going to work or be effective for you know customers or clients. Right, so right, that's how it all comes together then. So come, so tell me more about the um, your, your, your digital media strategies. Because I know we've met on many occasions, Rudy, uh, and we've talked yeah. about LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. You know, you do the lot, don't you? Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of platforms out there. Uh, what we tend to say to businesses when we go out to see them is that you know we do an analysis of their business and understand their business model before we offer a solution. Because the best thing for us to do is to understand what that business's customer base is, who they are, what type of person they are, where they would be. Because there's no point going on every single social media platform if your client base isn't on every single uh, social media platform or they're not going to be interested in your product or service on that specific social media platform. It's finding out the perfect social media platform for that perfect customer of your business making sure you're on there, and then targeting even further. But it's not just all about selling to clients either, Steve. It's about educating your customer base about why you're an expert in the field that you're in. You do that through building uh, kudos and building trust because people buy into something that they trust. And they also buy after the experience. So it's offering added value when you're posting organically. And then later on down the line, that's when you start to use your ad campaigns. Okay. It's understanding the buying funnel, and that's where these these guys, Lee and Ellie, come in into that process as well. As Lee rightly said, there's no point driving traffic to a website that's no good. So we look at how the website's built. If the website needs changing or it needs optimizing, the user experience isn't great, then we look at that. But we also look at video content. Because as everybody knows now, video content is king. More and more people engage with video than they do with static images. And a good video is needed, Ellie. A good video is needed. Come on, let's be honest. Because yeah, I can say it, you probably can't. But I have seen some horrendous videos out there that people put out <laughs> on social media. It's a bit like when they take a, you know, um, I, I always share this story. A, a guy wanted to connect with me on LinkedIn and he sent me a connection request. And when I looked at his photo, I thought something strange here. And he took his photo in a hotel bathroom with a toilet roll holder beside him. And, and he, he was a, prof- he marketed himself as a professional operation. So, you see that in photos, and you do see it in video sometimes, don't you, where you just see people disappearing off camera and all that kind of stuff. So a good video yeah, is important. Um, there's obviously a lot to it, and there's a lot to be said, you know, for people who are doing their own videos and if they don't have the budget to it. Hmm. That's why we do also like to, you know, offer good content to people that need to do it themselves. You know, we, we like to educate people on, on what is the right type of video to put out there and how you can make them look great. But hopefully by give, by educating them and giving them all the, that, that sort of knowledge, they realize actually we should be going to the experts to do this because this is going to make us look good. This makes us look professional and, you know, builds our brand. And it is so important when you're out there on social media that you, you have that high quality content um, because it's you, isn't it? The representation of you and your business and you want it to look fantastic. So I do commend people that, you know, say, right, we're going to do this ourselves, you know, and not everybody has the budget to do it. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it is important to have that quality. That's another reason why it's so important to look at businesses like collectives such as ourselves, because there are so many larger agencies out there that you could t- that potentially go to. However, you're just not you're just not going to get the same service mm-hmm. to the extent where you might end up being treated like a number simply because of the fact that you're one of many customers. So, and there's so many different systems you have to go through and a lot of the time they seem quite stagnant so they're not flexible enough to be able to move with you whether it's from a budget point of view whether it's from a needing a product or a service instantly whether you know whether it's video content whether it's social media whether it's web design um, and being able to tailor 
a service specifically to your business. A lot of the larger agencies are quite structured and can't can't really move with you. And just picking up again from Ellie, what we were saying in terms of video content, you know, and so you talked about there, Rudy, about being important on where you put your stuff on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Let me point this to you. This is a web this is a web design question again. Because sometimes you see websites that have got oof, God knows how many pages, right, that just lose you. So is it not important, again, when you're talking about the website, to be really clear about what the person wants on that website, if that makes sense? Absolutely. I mean, the analogy I always use when talking to clients is if you owned a leisure centre, for example, you wouldn't stand at the front of the leisure centre shouting at people saying, come to our swimming lessons, come to underwater yoga, come to the aerobics class. What you do, you let them come to your sports centre come in, you'd inf- let them ask a question, I'm looking for swimming lessons, for example. You'd inform them about the swimming lessons, you'd tell them what the prices are, how they could get involved, the process involved, and then on their way out of the leisure centre, you could cross-sell something else to them, cross-sell yoga classes, cross-sell the bits, but you allow the customer to control their journey. And that's exactly the same in websites, don't shout at people, and that's the biggest, the, by far the biggest um, pitfall that people fall into. They're trying to shout and get so much information across. Let the user discover the journey. Hold their hand, direct them, but don't force them. Because what you'll end up doing is just scaring people off. You know, and by adding extra content such as videos, interactive infographics, figures, good imagery, that all helps. But the most important thing, have a clear message. Know what you're selling, either a product or a service. Let people find it. Don't shout at them, don't force them down the room. As there are more and more websites, more and more competition, that point becomes more and more important. Let's move on to the website in a few seconds. If you haven't grabbed them, if you're not taking them through this journey, holding their hand, you've lost them, and you've lost them forever. In this digital world, with social media, you get one chance. Once it's out there, that reputation, it's out there forever. And so this really is a, a key point, I think. So there is, as from what you're describing there, is that you will help them take them through that journey, I guess. Well, you all will as a team. You'll help them take yeah. through that journey. Rudy, just coming back to the, the different things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and stuff. Is it, it, the different different age groups on each platform? You know, because, you know, I'm, Instagram, I'll be honest, I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, I didn't know what I was doing on LinkedIn until about three weeks ago, so there's no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 they, am I making sense around that? Are there different age groups that hit these different platforms? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say Facebook has changed dramatically over the last, I'd say, year, um, where it's no longer kind of a, a, a younger person's platform, partly because the demographic that used to use Facebook all of their mom and dads are now on Facebook. So yeah. they don't want to be on Facebook anymore. Mom and, mom and I wonder, wonder why. Doing. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, that demographic kind of moved over to Instagram now. So you've got kind of a, a, an older demographic. Yeah. yeah, yeah and Snapchat. My children are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, you've got your Instagram and your Snapchat, which is slightly younger demographic. But I mean, I would say you, you've still got people using Instagram up to the age of 30, 35, around about that age. And then anything above that, you've got Facebook, where they're using Facebook a lot more. You've got, you know, a lot of 55, 65-year-olds using Facebook now. With LinkedIn, obviously, it's your business professionals. So it just depends on the product and the service that you're trying to offer and what would be suitable to that specific age demographic and that type of person that you'd be trying to aim towards. If you're on that platform, it's about drilling down further. And the great thing about social media is that you can target down to interests, TV programs that you like to watch, websites you like to visit, how old you are, how much income you you make, uh, what street you live on, where you live geographically, how many houses you have. All of that data I, I can grab. So I can drill down to your perfect ideal customer down to the minor detail to make sure that when we're getting your marketing message in front of those individuals it's being seen by somebody that's ready to take your product or service there and then on the spot right okay so how if somebody wanted to work with you then how what's that's the process how 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 do they do it do, do they talk to you first rudy or ellie or lee which way do they go 
They can talk to you. The, the, this is, again, I'm glad you asked that question because this is the beauty of the collective. It doesn't matter whether they contact me first or Ellie or Lee. The, the process will be exactly the same in terms of we will consult, we will understand what your business needs are, um, understand how your business model works, um, find out what type of marketing or, or you've done before, what type of video production you've done before or what type of website you currently have, and then look at the overall solution and see how we can fix it and we can how we can help you and how we can help you grow as a business how we can add value to your business, whether it's through getting you a better website that's going to, when we drive traffic to that website, that you actually get better conversions because your website's better, whether it's providing you with better content through video production to get the message across clearer and quicker, whether it's to do with making sure that we can actually drive conversions to sales rather than just clicks. It's the conversions and the sales that businesses want. Uh, and, and do you work across all sectors then, the different sectors? Yeah, um, we work across all different sectors. We've got a whole heap of, a whole range of different types of clients. So, yeah, small to medium businesses that we're, we're working with, but we also work with larger businesses as well. So, yeah, we've done websites for the aviation industry, for the metals industry, for the police, NHS, but then also for small ones that sometimes more exciting projects that we take on, you know, that allow us to push the, the boundaries a little bit. So although we've got the large clients, we also quite enjoy some of the smaller ones sometimes, those ones that want to build that brand that you can grow with. We're start, probably not starting out, but are established, but want to grow that business, take it to the next level. Those are the exciting clients to work with because they want to push it, they want to grow. And if you get in, you know, the earliest stages with those guys, as they grow, They'll throw more work your way, you can then expand the offering. And so I've always said that we've had relationships with a fewer number of clients than churn over 130 sites a year. That's that to me is unsatisfying about mm-hmm. getting those relationships. And we've got that. We've got, you know, probably a dozen really good clients who keep coming back to us. But those clients now are asking us for video content. They're asking us how we can improve their social media um, sort of presence. And so those clients are now switching on to these things. The cost we're in this collective, we can say, you know what? We've got Rudy, we've got, we've got these guys who we really trust, and we can put them in touch with them, and they sort of fall under this umbrella, and they know because we've built that trust, and we trust these guys, that trust sort of um, is reciprocated. And, you know, we've referred quite a few people you know, both ways, and it works really, really well. Sounds absolutely perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> I think as well, because we have worked for different sectors or different different industries. So for Giant Leaf, over the past 10 years, we've built quite a good relationship with a lot of people in um, the construction industry. So uh, in the furniture store and window fabricators, new house builders, uh, British Gypsum, we've done a lot of work with them, for Terra, um, and we've done a lot of, sort of health and safety training videos. So we have worked a lot in the construction industry, but but likewise, those people uh, don't want to get left behind with social media and they're realizing that all of their video content that they already have can be chopped up into, you know, small snappy clips that can get them out there and get people notice them on um, social media as well. So, yeah, we've worked a lot in that industry, but I think between the three of us, because we have had a variety of experience with different industries and we all trust each other, our clients trust us. So if, if we're going to say to our clients or you need a website now or you need to get your content out there on social and then they're going to trust our you know our partners in this as well so that's why it'll work well you know what 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 comes across from all of you is is your passion for what you do just love it (laughs) (laughs) just 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 love it you know so look so how can people get in touch with you if they want to find out more uh, they can go to either of our either of the websites that we have. Obviously, we've got Famous Wolf. We've also got L33 Solutions, and we've also got Giant Lead Productions as well. So either of those websites they can go to and and get in contact with us. Our contact details are on there, telephone number or via email. Okay, and what I'll do at the bottom of the podcast, I'll put. <laughs> I'll put what was that? <laughs> Media. We're on every platform. Yeah, all the social media. 
Yeah, it's just a phrase I use. We're all over social media. You'll find us. So when I when I put the, when we put the podcast out, I'll put all the links underneath for people to contact you if that's okay. Get in touch with you that way. So thanks for joining us today. It's been absolutely awesome. A big thank you for taking the time out to listen to Podcasts for Business. Podcasts for Business, all about helping businesses share knowledge, expertise, details of events, workshops and seminars. If you'd like to get in touch, you'd like to feature your business or let me know about an event, all you need to do is simply email steve at stevetwinen.com. Also check out podcastforbusiness.co.uk. Podcast for Business is produced and presented by Steve Twynham. Copyright applies. Like to share news about your business, event seminar or workshop? Simply email steve at stevetwynham.com.